Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this algebra expression. And uh, the topic here is powers and exponents. So we have f to the 3n minus 1 power squared. We want to write this in the simpler way, i.e. simplify this expression. Now, if you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. Then I'm going to uh, show you exactly how to do this problem step by step. Now, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go take a look at the answer. Again, we have f to the 3n minus 1 power squared. We want to simplify that. What is the answer? Well, here it is right here. So this is a real easy problem. Of course, you got to know what you're doing. But the answer is f to the 6n minus 2 power. Now, if you got something like, say, f to the 6n minus 1 or something kind of close to this but not this exactly, well, you probably made a very common mistake, which I will explain here in just one second. But if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert with powers and exponents and algebra. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Now, here is the problem, right? So let's suppose you're looking at this problem, you're like, you know what, I kind of forgot what to do or what the um, uh, rule is here. So what is a, um, what you can do, you can't do this in every single situation because we need a formula or really a property of powers and exponents, okay? But uh, before I even show you this, let's just kind of um, get some terminology down. Let's say you had two to the third power, okay? What does that mean? Well, it means take 2 and multiply it by itself three times, right? 2 times 2 times 2. So that's 2 to the third power. But we have some uh, terms here or some definitions. And this uh, larger number down here, R2, is what we call the base, okay? This little small number up here is called the exponent. And the entire thing is referred to as a power. So we have 2 to the third power. But just uh, be mindful that there's a base and an exponent you know, when we're talking about powers. So here in this particular problem, f is the base and 3n minus 1 is the exponent. Now this entire power we're taking to another power, okay? So that's kind of the situation. So let's suppose again that you kind of forgot what to do. You're like, oh, I don't really remember the rule or the property in algebra. So what you can do is try to reconstruct uh, the property, okay? So here's a good technique you can use. You can uh, use some numbers, you can try to come up with an easy example. So instead of all of this, I'm gonna come up with something that kind of models this problem. So I'm gonna say, uh, say to myself, well, how about two cubed squared? Let's see if we can figure out what happens when we have two to the third power squared. And if we can figure out the answer, we kind of look at the situation, we may uh, very well be able to kind of reverse engineer the formula or the property that we need in order to do this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this right now. So here we have two uh, cubed squared. Okay, so what is two cubed? Well, two cubed is two times two times two. And anything squared means take this and multiply it by itself. So that's what I have right here. This is two cubed, okay? And to square it means to multiply it by itself. So here's two cubed right here. So two cubed is two times two times two. And here we have another two cubed. 2 times 2 times 2, so you can see the answer is going to be 2 times itself 6 times, which by definition is 2 to the 6th power. So it looks uh, that it looks like 2 to the 3rd power squared. Uh, we know that the answer is 2 to the 6th, so how can uh, we go from, or how do we go from here to here? It appears that we've multiplied that outside exponent by the inside exponent. In other words, 2 times 3. That's how we got 2 to the 6. And that is exactly what the property uh, or the rule that we need for this particular problem. Okay, so again, you can use a simple model, uh, an easier version of the problem to kind of figure out what to do. It's a really good technique to remember in any uh, kind of math class. 
So let's just kind of formalize the um, actual property here. So uh, 2 cubed, we can kind of write this in a more general way, a to the m. Okay, so this is a power. So we're just using variables here. Remember, variables are nothing more than placeholders. And then n will be another, uh, this is our outside exponent, so it's another number. So a to the m to the n is equal to what? Well, we saw this is 2 times 3. That's how we got 6. So the answer or the um, uh, property is a to the m to the n power is equal to a to the m times n. So this is actually the formal property of uh, exponents that you need to remember. There are others that are critical for you to um, you know, uh, know, to really know how to uh, do algebra. So anyways, if you forgot that, you can kind of reconstruct it at least. And this is what we need to do to apply to this situation. Okay, so here, again, we have a base to an exponent. Okay, we have this power to an outside power. So the rule tells us, well, take the outside power and multiply it by the inside exponent, right? The outside exponent times the ex uh, inside exponent. So we have 2 to the 3 and minus 1. Now, this part of the problem is where a lot of students uh, will tend to get confused as well. Because 3 and minus 1, uh, this right here is not in parentheses. Okay, so it's very easy to make an error with the distributor property because if we're taking 2, let me kind of um, show you this, and we're going to multiply it by 3n minus 1, some students will just say, oh, 2 times 3n, uh, 6n minus 1. They might do it that way. I've seen this over and over again, thousands of times, this type of error. So anytime you see a sum or difference, you know, anything with, that has a variable with a plus or minus sign in it, uh, it's always a good idea to put that expression in parentheses, like so. Okay, so now we have uh, f to the 3n minus uh, uh, 3n minus 1. So we could put this in parentheses. We're going to take that 2 and multiply it by this. So we could put this 2 in front right here. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. So here we have f to the 2 times 3n minus 1. So 2 times 3n is 6n, and 2 times this one right here is 2. Hence our answer. Okay, so hopefully this was a good little uh, refresher problem. Now, if you need help with um, you know, all the properties of powers and exponents, this is something you absolutely you need to understand. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and recommend checking out my Algebra 1 course. I'm going to leave the direct link uh, to it in the description of this video. Um, I also teach this at higher levels, Algebra 2, College Algebra, etc. This is also kind of um, hit upon in uh, pre-algebra as well. But whatever your course level is, you'll see those direct links in the description. But hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.